Welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. I decided to get away from the abstracts for a while and I'm going to do something more like what I normally do with my oil paints, but I'm not going to be able to get it nearly as complicated. I might not even get it the first layer done. But since I'm using acrylics though, it's going to dry and I start out thin to thick, so I might be able to get fairly far with this. I really like to do comb flowers. I've sold a number of paintings of them. They just really have such a beautiful shape and color contrast. All right, so this is going to be tricky. I've had lots of ideas of what I'm going to do and see if I can get closer to what I usually do, but it might not work out. And I would like to get a really, really strong light effect, which is how it was in the photograph. It's a photograph I took of some comb flowers in front of some other just um, the leaves of some other flowers. I'm not even sure which one they were. So, well, maybe this is going to go fast because I'm just going to, as I said, follow the traditional thin to thick. And that's what I do in the first layer of my oil paintings, too. Uh, I vary the color more, even though it's the first layer, but I still, it's essentially what I do. Okay, I'm just going to change right away because I don't like to. Um, stick with the one color and not fill in the whole area. So I'm going to change it right away and start to do this really beautiful part up here, which I love. I'm not going to get real detailed with it. I know you can get these little tiny sections, spore areas. I'm not real sure what they are, but I'm not going to do that unless I decide to come back into this painting. But that takes a really long time. I do have a, a colored pencil one where I really did all those little tiny things. Yeah, it turned out real nice. Uh, be sure to check my florals on my website to see what I do with florals. Okay, uh, let's see, I think I'll go ahead and put what's gonna be behind it, <clears throat> which is, I'm just gonna do an out of focus thing. I'm not going to try to do all those little leaves that are in the photograph. Just going to get that really beautiful blue-green color that I saw. As I said before, most of my paintings come from photographs and slides that I take. Some of them are made up. Of course, my abstracts are. And some of them are based on things that I've seen. And I change it quite a bit. So I've mentioned before, Edward Hopper once said, you know, I'm best when I improvise. <laughs> I kind of think I am too. I like to base what I do on things I see, but it's never a matter of rote putting it down. And I can't do that, can't do that anyway, so I've often said, you really can't. Monet proved that. He got as close, I think, as anybody's ever gotten to really getting all the complicated systems of color and texture that's out there. And like George O'Keefe said, you really can't, and I agree with her, you really can't. And he, did, he knew he couldn't either. That's why they're not super detailed because he was trying to capture an effect before the light change, and the light changed very quickly, and you have a different system of colors. Okay, well, this is moving pretty fast, so maybe it'll dry and I can get to the next layer where I really get more complicated. Didn't think I was going to be able to go this quick. But there's still a lot to do, and I've already gone three minutes, so we'll see. But it's not going to have lines in it. It is going to be like my paintings, and they don't have lines because the line is the tool of the artist. It doesn't really exist in nature. Sometimes it's hard to convince people of that. It's only edges. Everything is form revealed in light. And you start to show them, they start, oh yeah, I guess there really isn't an absolute line. It's the tool of the artist, wonderful tool of the artist that we love. But in my paintings, I am basically working with form is revealed by light, light and shade. And hearkening back to a lot of what the Impressionists did, because I'm just so fascinated with all the colors that I see. It's uh, There's so much more when you really slow down and really spend some time looking, especially in shadow, especially in the evenings. You start to see things that didn't see before, because I think we all tend to kind of glance at what's out there, and we see things as, that's a color, that's a color, that's a color. We don't really tend to see the interaction of warm and cool colors like the Impressionists did. And it is really fascinating. Okay, now we're kind of moving along here, so I better switch brushes and at least get one layer in. I can always work off line, uh, off, off camera, <laughs> but um, 
I would write, like to really at least get one layer in and get to the point where there's already lines. Also really like to get that light effect in. May not be able to do it. I probably should have just done one comb flower, but I wanted a nice composition of them. And composition is, is very tricky. Um, if you studied art, you know what I'm talking about. There are all kinds of things that kind of help, and a grouping of three is one of them. But it's so much more than that. It's really like um, a math. And I've tried to explain that to people before. It's a, it's a math without a formula. It's a visual math that you get better and better at and understand. And the formulas, like groups of threes, grouping of three, um, is just kind of part of it. It certainly does work very well, and it's always different. As I told my students who thought, well, you know, I don't always use group of three. Well, of course not. But um, it does tend to work very well, and it's always different. It's all in how you do it. But there's so much more to it. It's, it's really hard to explain. You just kind of know when the space is effective, and it makes you look at it, and it seems balanced. And that, that's a mathematical concept. A lot of people don't realize how much math there is in art. And there really is a tremendous amount of math in art. And when I taught art to preach students, I tried real hard to get them to understand that because uh, too many people think it's, um, it's just drawing. And I shouldn't say just drawing. Drawing is very difficult to draw really well. Anybody can draw poorly. But to draw really well is quite a discipline. But there is so much more to art than drawing. To say that that's all it is, is like saying, well, somebody who's really great at playing the scales on the piano is a great musician. Well, of course, there's a whole lot more to it that. People always understand it better in music, which is why I always like to use that when I'm talking about art. And I'm sure some of you have heard this before, but then I get new people all the time. And I really love to talk about the things that it's been my experience the average person is not aware of. And I hear a lot of things from people that um, really uh, disappoint me. <laughs> I hate to say make me angry, but they kind of do. <laughs> disappoint me when I hear things about well, people that do abstracts where there's no definite subject matter, and they say, oh, that's because the artist can't draw. And oh, that couldn't be further from the truth. And it just drives me crazy when people say that. It is music without words, as I've said many, many times. And it is not an attempt to fool people, to irritate people, or to say, see, art can be anything you want it to be. <laughs> doesn't have to be what you want it to be. You know, all this stuff that you hear people say that that can be really aggravating. I gotta be watch gotta watch what I say though. A lot of people think I um I am too defensive. And I don't really mean to be that way. I just like to explain art. But I do, I notice when sometimes when I say things like that, people say, oh, that's okay, I understand, or, or we don't have to say that, or, yeah, we, we know, you know, or, yeah, you don't need to say that, we think you're, we think everything's great, and all this stuff, and so I gotta watch what I say, but I've been told that all my life. Some of us just tend to speak our mind a little bit too much, I guess, and I have been told that my whole life, and I've tried real hard to watch it. But it's so difficult. I always like to think of it as being honest. But, you know, there's honest and there is discretion. You gotta watch what you say. Um, I've always been so impressed with my mother-in-law. You know how lots of people talk about, oh, I can't get along with my mother-in-law and all this stuff because uh, they tend to, to tell you what to do and everything. Good Lord, I have never known anybody more diplomatic in this world than my mother-in-law. All these years, and it's been many decades, I have never had one uncomfortable moment with her. I've never known anybody so careful about the words that come out of the mouth. She is amazing. And I have to admit, my husband's a lot like her. I think I've gotten a lot better paying attention to him. Okay, well, heck, as far as I'm concerned, that's a layer. Certainly a lot more to do, and it's only been nine minutes. 
So I think it might be dry now. I can start to do a little more of what I do in a painting because I never do one that has just flat areas. That is just a start. What I do at this point in my oil paints is I use many colors together and I let them interact and then I start to pull out the light effect. And it's very tricky and it gets really complicated and maybe I'll just do one, I don't know. I don't want this to go over 20 minutes so I'll see what happens. But right now it's probably dry enough that I can go ahead and start to put in more in the, what do you call these, stamens? This part of the flower. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to really get more going on here, a whole lot more. And the light was from this side, so I'll make it a lot darker on this side. And it's certainly not the light effect I was seeing. It was very, very bright. But like I said, paintings are always done in layers. To get that, I'm probably going to have to come in a lot I'll do it a lot more. I go a lot into a lot more layers, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to get a little bit more of what it was right there. Yeah, well, that's a lot better. Okay, and now I'm going to do more with the petals. Yeah, time is really moving along here. I'm going to build up the paint. As I said, I work in the traditional thin to thick, although thin to thick and then into impasto. Italian word, which means pasted on. I get to the point where it's little dabs just being pasted onto the surface to get a very, very complex surface. Let the colors really come out. Now you can see now I'm using different colors. And that is partly expression and part really what I see because nothing is really just one color. There's the colors of light and shade. And I'm going to get that going now. I have a feeling I'm just going to get one done or one sort of done because I am trying to do what I do with my oil paintings that take a very long time. I have to wait for all the layers to dry. And so trying to do that now, it's going to take some time. And of course I always like to put in the warm colors, I mean, sorry, the cool colors, and the shadows, which I see and I know other people see too, but I really see them because I have trained my eye to really see all these things. and. It's because I see them and also because of the expression that I put in. My artwork is unique to me, as I've said many times, but it does go back to Impressionism and Impressionism and Expressionism, where the artist is really putting in things to make it really stand out that are not necessarily what I'm seeing, but what I think will make it vibrant and interesting to look at. Wow, that is starting to look like, kind of like my paintings. Yeah, that's starting to, to do it. Let's see how much more I can do. Probably just a leaf or two. It's already 13 minutes. So let's do more in here. As you can see, I'm getting rid of the lines because this is what I do and I don't use lines in my painting. Nothing wrong with them, good grief. Lots of artists use lines in paintings. But I don't. I like the form as revealed in light, and there isn't really any lines. Okay, this is really starting to come along. It is starting to look a lot like what I do in oil paint. I, had, I think I mentioned this before. I had a student who was really good at using acrylics to look like oils, and he wanted me to. And I thought, no, you know, as much as that can be, as, as well as that can be done, it's never right for me because acrylics is made with plastic, polymer medium. And to me, no matter what you do, I always see plastic, like a latex glove, glove a little bit. But uh, he was really good. But it always has that little dry, in my opinion, this dry look of a latex glove, and no matter how you handle it. I love the richness of an oil painting. There's just nothing like it. Boy, this is starting to look like what I do. I'm surprised I'm doing that in 14 minutes. But I don't think I'm going to get done. So what I'll do is just do a little bit more here and then do it off camera. So it's only 20 minutes. I really don't like to have these much more than that. Okay, 
And again, I'm going to really start pushing the colors in the petals and using other colors, which is what I always do. And this isn't, like I said, it's not going to be nearly as complex as what I normally do, but it's a lot more than what I usually do in these demos. Uh, real color nut, always have been. And I like using what's out there. I also like making up things. I am the word. If there was a picture of some of the someone in the dictionary by the word eclectic, it would be me. Because I really do love it all and am fascinating, fascinated with all kinds of art. And as I said before, the one I don't like, the one that's not my favorite, is lowest on the list is uh, photorealism because um, you know, I don't want to reproduce a photograph. I consider that to be the art, is the photograph. But there, there's nothing wrong with it. Lots of great photorealists out there. It's just not for me. Okay, let's see, I'm going to define this more but not really get into lines. And I think I'm going to be done pretty soon here because I just don't want to keep going doing this. It's, it's really, to really get what I want in, it's going to take quite a bit of time. So I might just stop real soon now. And then I'll finish it. It's a lot of that intense color. You can see how it's coming out and the, the, it's separating from the background so much more than down here because I am working on getting more of the contrast and getting stronger colors into these areas so that they're really standing out now and being pulled out and then also adding some light which I would be adding for one of my regular stuff be a whole lot more light than that it takes time a lot of time but as I said before I learned how to do some very quick things in front of students at Radford University with the art of preach super fast. With stu art students, you know, I certainly didn't mind watching for a while. A lot slower. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right there. I'm real happy with the way it's coming out. I think it's going to really be a nice addition to my portfolio. Now again, this is inexpensive paint and cheapo paper, so I don't sell the, these these demos. Some of the ones I do on YouTube I do, but this is a real cheap one. So you can get prints of it though, and the prints on my site are fantastic. Sometimes I get some prints in the form of um, postcards, and I got a yoga mat, and they're really great. You can get anything, even um, you can get face masks, just all kinds of stuff if anybody's interested. Like I said, I'm on here to show my stuff, but um, also trying to get patrons. Can't got to sell my stuff, and I, I like to sell prints too. Can't take it with me. Like I always say. All right, I think I'm going to quit right there. It's already 18 minutes, so I'm going to finish this without the camera on. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click on the link to see the final painting. Not sure how much it's going to change, but it's going to be a good bit. Also, there is a link to my artwork on Etsy, Wix, and other places.